Hi, it's Jackie. In this video, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to create collections with folders in GoodNotes. It's a great way to organize and categorize your PDFs, notebooks, planners, journals, and sticker books, and also make them really quick and easy to find. So the first thing you need to do is I'm going to put all my journals and journal stickers into one folder. So you come over to the left and you tap on the plus sign for new and you select folders and then you're just going to give it a name. So I'll call mine journals, hit return and you're done. So now I have a new folder. So you can move things in two ways. You can move them individually so you can just tap and hold until it pops up and then you can drag and you can see the folders change colour so you just let go. So now if we go inside our folder you can see it's popped it in there or you can do it in bulk. So if you come up top right and you hit the little round check mark there so now I can actually select what I want to move so I'm going to move all of these journals and sticker books in Then if you look at the top in the centre you can see it says move and then I can choose the folder that I want to use. So I'm going to select journal and I'm going to tap move. And then top right to come out of this, I'll just tap done. So now when I go into my journals folder, you can see they're all in there now. I can go back to my documents. So it's a whole group just in one folder. So I'm going to go back into the journals folder and I'll show you again. And you can actually put folders inside folders. So if I come over and say new, folder and I'm going to put all my sticker books in so I could separate those out hit return and then I'm going to bulk move them so I'm going to come and hit the check mark top right I'm just going to select this time the sticker books I'm going to hit move top center I'm going to hit journals and then I'm going to say inside journals I'd like to use sticker books and then tap move at the bottom so now I can hit done top right and you can see I've tidied up my journals fo folder and obviously you could also put your journals into a folder maybe as you archive them for older years you could pop them into their own folder and just have your current journal showing. I can go back then and you can see I've got a lot less going on here now and I could do the same with notebooks or by project I could do the same with planners or I could archive old things that I want to keep. So really quick and simple way to categorize things. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks.